Welcome to the Specialty Products Company installation video for the 25560 Titan Adjustable Upper Control Arm. This control arm will produce one half to one and one half degree camber change and zero to two degree caster change for the 2004 and up Nissan Titan and the 2004 and up Nissan Armada. Use these fully forged arms to gain travel and allow proper alignment on lifted Titans and Armadas. These arms feature spec ride bushings and heavy duty OE style sealed ball joints. They can also be used on Xterra, Pathfinder and Frontier when a wide track conversion is performed using Titan parts. Many times the original equipment upper control arm can contact the front spring mount bracket at full droop. In this example the upper control arm is bent after hitting the spring bracket causing drivability issues and tire wear problems. You can see that the SPC arms are designed to eliminate this problem. Always follow proper safety precautions associated with all the equipment used in this video. Read the installation instructions thoroughly. Before beginning alignment work, always check for loose or worn parts, proper tire pressure, and odd tire wear patterns. Replace any loose or worn parts before setting alignment. Raise the vehicle by frame and support with jack stands. Remove front tire and wheel assembly. Remove cotter pin and nut holding original equipment ball joint to spindle. Break the taper between ball joint stud and spindle. SPC tool 8370, 37985, or 37990 will all work well to break the taper. Loosen and remove control arm bushing bolts. Remove control arm, taking care to support spindle so the ABS and brake line are not damaged. Fit the two half bushings into the end rings of the control arm. Using supplied grease only, liberally coat the inside of the control arm bushings making sure all the small voids are filled with grease. Press a pivot sleeve into each bushing until it is flush with the outside of the bushing. You may need a rubber hammer to push the sleeve all the way through. Some grease will push out, which is normal. Apply grease also to the outboard end of each bushing. The inboard surface of the bushing will not contact the frame mounting pocket and should be left dry so it does not attract dirt. Insert the SBC control arm into the frame pockets and reinstall with the original equipment control arm bolts. The left arm should have a visible L near the ball joint mounting area and the right arm will show an R. Tighten control arm mounting bolts to manufacturer specifications. Install the star plate over the hex on the ball joint per the chart below to achieve the desired camber change relative to the stock arm. For most trucks with a 2 to 3 inch lift, setting B should return camber to factory specifications. Insert the ball joint up through the bottom of the arm, indexing the star plate in the machine slot, then install the washer and nut. Slide the ball joint to the midpoint of its travel in the arm slot and tighten the nut. Install the ball joint stud into the spindle with provided castle nut. Torque castle nut to value specified in the instructions. Then tighten more if necessary until cotter pen can be installed. Reinstall the tire and wheel assembly. Lower the vehicle. Verify proper camber. Make fine adjustments to camber using lower control arm eccentric bolts. Adjust caster by sliding ball joint in slot on control arm. Once caster setting is final, torque top ball joint nut to value specified in the instructions. Road test the vehicle. 